Niantic, and today Niantic has announced officially their Christmas update event and everything they're gonna be doing during the event and during New Year's too and even weeks after New Year's. It's pretty big, it's pretty exciting, let's talk about it. At the time I'm recording this, 18 minutes ago, Pokemon Go tweeted this. The holiday season has arrived, celebrate it with us. And yes, it was said in that accent. Actually, interestingly enough, they did use the Christmas present images that we found in the Silk Road leak in the picture for this tweet. And that's something that we're gonna talk about after we read this article. Okay. It's story time. Trainers, as the year draws to a close, we want to give you a great way to celebrate the end of the year with Pokemon Go. For the next couple of weeks, you'll have even more reason to explore the world with your friends and family while you enjoy our year-end event. What could that mean? That could be anything. A year-end event? That sounds humongous, and it's pretty big. Don't miss out on an increased chance to hatch a Togepi and other Pokemon. Starting the morning of December 25th, 2016, and through the afternoon of January 3rd, 2017, Pokestops will award one single use incubator each day after your first photo disc spin. This is what we've been asking for in your stockings this year, or I guess in your Pokestops, if there are Pokestops in your stockings. You can now get a single-use incubator. A lot of people are like, oh, it's only single-use. Bro, we've been asking for that for a very, very long time. A lot of people have wanted incubators out of stops, and that's been very, very important during this update because the only way to get the new gen Pokemon are out of incubators, and it's very, very hard to, like, battle enough gyms to be able to buy yourself incubators. So, by them doing this and giving you incubators out of the Pokestops, that is just awesome. As you visit Pokestops during this time period, there will be a greater chance of finding eggs that hatch Togepi, Pichu, and several other recently found Pokemon originally discovered in the Johto region. So for everybody who has not gotten all of their generation two Pokemon out of your eggs, this update announcement is humongous, and that should be the majority of you. Let me know in the comments though if you did get all of the Gen 2 Pokemon so far because that's impressive. I still have the Togepi to hatch. He is very elusive for me for some reason, but this is this is humongous. Special Pikachu wearing festive hats will also be staying around a bit longer. You are more than likely to find these limited edition Pikachu during the time period of this celebration. And that's something that we like we already knew about that they were gonna stay for a little bit longer. Uh, but once they're gone, they're gone. So definitely catch as many Christmas Pikachu as you can and maybe evolve some to the Raichu but you'll still be able to find them for a little while. But wait, there's more. In addition, from the afternoon of December 30th to the afternoon of January 8th, the first partner Pokemon and their evolutions originally discovered in the Kanto region are more likely to be encountered. This means a greater chance to catch Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, as well as Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, plus Squirtle, Wartortle, and Blastoise. That is Awesome, so now all of the starter evolutions are gonna be spawning more frequently So I'm gonna be going to San Francisco. I'm gonna be going to tons of places because I'm gonna stay in the Bay Maybe until New Year's I'm kind of deciding right now But we'll be back in the LA area when this event's still happening so we can go to the pier and catch a ton of Charizards Venusaurs and Blastoise, but that is awesome So for everybody who does not have all of their starter evolutions in their Pokedex This is humongous news for you and one more big thing one more huge thing that we are definitely gonna take advantage of as a way to increase your chance to encounter one of these Pokemon Lure modules will also last for 60 minutes instead of 30. Bang! That is awesome. 60 minute lure times. That is so good. <laughs> they doubled the lure time. We're definitely going to be taking advantage of that, but I think that is starting uh, from December 30th onto January 8th. So that'll be like more of a New Year's thing. Uh, but still, double the time on the lures. That's awesome. Get up and go signed the Pokemon Go team. So that was the update announcement. That's what they've said so far. Now, things. Okay, we're going to talk about things that we found and that we speculated were coming out but aren't in this announcement. Character customization, that's something that was really, really big in the Silk Road data mine that was not in this thing at all. So that was, that might be implemented later or maybe like uh, it might just come out during the Christmas season. With Niantic, you never know with updates because they'll announce something and then they'll drop other things and not announce it and then you kind of have to find out for yourself. So this Christmas update might be one of those times where they announce, this is the event, this is everything I just said right there, that was the entire Christmas event for Pokemon Go, and there might be more things released that weren't talked about in this, but again, we just don't know. Going back to the picture that they linked for this article, those presents, as we saw in the code, the last date of mine, the presents were in the master file as like a shop icon. So they were like shop presents, and that could have been just like something that they were toying around with, experimenting with, and I guess decided not to add. But the presents are right there. Those images were the ones Silk Road found in the data mine, and they're using them on their Twitter post. So maybe sometime this Christmas we'll see some sort of Christmas present thing. Maybe they'll announce at like Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. I don't know, but that's definitely something that we should speculate about uh, and possibly we might be seeing in the future because it was found in the data mine, it was found in the code for the shop, and now the images that Silk Road found are used by Pokemon Go, so I don't know, something we might see in the near future. Shiny Pokemon are something that we all thought that was gonna come out uh, at the end of this year, and it's looking like they're not going to, but again, it could be something like Ditto where they don't announce it, but it kind of just happens and people just start finding it. 
Uh, but as far as we're concerned, shiny Pokemon, it's looking like, will not be dropping uh, during the Christmas season. That also applies to Gen 2 Pokemon. It's looking like there will be no new wave of Generation 2 Pokemon coming out this Christmas season, which is kind of a bust. A lot of people were looking forward to that, and a lot of people were kind of banking uh, the success of the Christmas season, Niantic's Christmas season, on the fact that a bunch of new Pokemon were going to come out. So the fact that it's not happening is a little bit unsettling, but I mean, like, this update is awesome either way, and the new Pokemon will be coming to the game very, very soon here, whether they do drop them during the Christmas season, or maybe during New Year's, or they wait a little bit until after everyone can, like, go outside, because, you know, you gotta remember, right now it's, like, snowing and raining, it's raining here, so, like, the weather isn't really great everywhere around the world right now, so they're probably waiting until later on when people can actually go outside and find these brand new Pokemon, which makes a lot of sense um, because I'm sure you know if, if you right there you are living where it's snowing and they drop a whole wave of Pokemon you're probably gonna be kind of sad because you can't go out and hunt them as intensely as like myself and Santa Monica can because it's snowing by you so it does make sense that they wait to drop these new Pokemon until later but at the same time it kind of sucks because like we all want new Pokemon but it just makes more sense to drop it at a time where it's warmer and that is the new Christmas update for Pokemon Go announcement video let me know down in the comments your guys' thoughts on this and let me know your speculations about or conspiracies about anything that we talked about in this video because again those Christmas presents are in that picture There's just a lot of things that still could happen in the next two weeks that Niantic might not announce but be hinting towards but Yeah, either way let me know in the comments what you guys think about this update what you guys speculate about possible stuff happening in the future and like this video if you guys are excited about I mean the incubators the uh, lure time the increased hatchings the increased spawns of the starters it's a really really big fun event they made it fun even without bringing new Pokemon to the game so I'm pretty excited for this to start and it all starts the morning of December 25th so that's Christmas Eve right that's Christmas Day 25th is Christmas Day I'm sorry for being just it that was that was a dumb thing for me to ask so starting Christmas Christmas morning when you wake up to open your presents you will also be able to have a higher chance of hatching new gen Pokemon and you can get incubators out of stops so that is pretty cool and that'll be a pretty good Christmas and then starting December 30th uh, that's when all the starters start spawning more and that's when the uh, lure times go from 30 to 60 minutes Which again is just awesome. So nothing today or tomorrow But Christmas morning is when everything is gonna come out and or like half of that's gonna come out And I'm just I'm really excited. So that was today's video Hope you guys enjoyed that if you did and you guys are ready and excited for this update make sure to smash that like button Let's get like 5,000 likes. But how about